Modern Hebrew is phonetically simpler than Biblical Hebrew and has fewer phonemes, but it is phonologically more complex. It has 25 to 27 consonants and 5 to 10 vowels, depending on the speaker and the analysis. Hebrew has been used primarily for liturgical, literary, and scholarly purposes for most of the past two millennia. As a consequence, its pronunciation was strongly influenced by the vernacular of individual Jewish communities. With the revival of Hebrew as a native language, and especially with the establishment of Israel, the pronunciation of the modern language rapidly coalesced. The two main accents of modern Hebrew are Oriental and non-Oriental. Oriental Hebrew was chosen as the preferred accent for Israel by the Academy of the Hebrew Language, but has since declined in popularity. The description in this article follows the language as it is pronounced by native Israeli speakers of the younger generations. <inaudible> Oriental and non-Oriental accents According to the Academy of the Hebrew Language, in the 1880s the time of the beginning of the Zionist movement and the Hebrew revival there were three groups of Hebrew regional accents, Ashkenazi Eastern European, Sephardi Southern European, and Mizrahi Middle Eastern, Iranian, and North African. Over time features of these systems of pronunciation merged, and nowadays we find two main pronunciations of colloquial, not liturgical, Hebrew, Oriental and non-Oriental. Oriental Hebrew displays traits of an Arabic substrate. Old Oriental speakers tend to use an alveolar trill R, preserve the pharyngeal consonants, H, and less commonly, preserve gemination, and pronounce, E, in some places where non-Oriental speakers do not have a vowel the SHVA -na. A limited number of Oriental speakers, for example Old Yemenite Jews, even maintain some pharyngealized emphatic consonants also found in Arabic, such as, S, for Biblical, TS. Topic. Pronunciation of non-oriental and general Israeli pronunciation lost the emphatic and pharyngeal sounds of Biblical Hebrew under the influence of Indo-European languages Germanic and Slavic for Ashkenazim and Romance for Sephardim. The pharyngeals, H, and are preserved by older Oriental speakers. Dialectically, Georgian Jews pronounce as q, while Western European Sephardim and Dutch Ashkenazim traditionally pronounce it, a pronunciation that can also be found in the Italian tradition and, historically, in southwest Germany. However, according to Sephardic and Ashkenazic authorities, such as the Mishnah Buryura and the Shulchan Aruch and Mishnah Torah, is the proper pronunciation. Thus, it is still pronounced as such by some Sephardim and Ashkenazim. Topic. Pronunciation of R The classical pronunciation associated with the consonant R res, R, was a flap, and was grammatically ungeminable. In most dialects of Hebrew among the Jewish diaspora, it remained a flap or a trill R. However, in some Ashkenazi dialects of Northern Europe it was a uvular rhotic, either a trill, or a fricative. This was because most native dialects of Yiddish were spoken that way, and the liturgical Hebrew of these speakers carried the Yiddish pronunciation. Some Iraqi Jews also pronounce rez as a guttural, reflecting Baghdad Jewish Arabic. An apparently unrelated uvular rhotic is believed to have appeared in the Tiberian pronunciation of Hebrew, where it may have coexisted with additional non-guttural articulations of r, depending on circumstances. Though an Ashkenazi Jew in the Russian Empire, the Zionist Eliezer ben Yehuda based his standard Hebrew on Sephardi Hebrew, originally spoken in Spain, and therefore recommended an alveolar r. However, just like him, the first waves of Jews to resettle in the Holy Land were Ashkenazi, and standard Hebrew would come to be spoken with their native pronunciation. Consequently, by now nearly all Israeli Jews pronounce the consonant R res as a uvular approximant, which also exists in Yiddish. Many Jewish immigrants to Israel spoke a variety of Arabic in their countries of origin, and pronounced the Hebrew rhotic consonant R as an alveolar trill, identical to Arabic RR, and which followed the conventions of Old Hebrew. In modern Ashkenazi, Sephardi, and Mizrahi poetry and folk music, as well as in the standard or standardized Hebrew used in the Israeli media, an alveolar rhotic is sometimes used. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Consonants. 
The following table lists the consonant phonemes of Israeli Hebrew in IPA transcription. 1 in modern Hebrew, H, for H has been absorbed by, X tilde chi, that was traditionally only for fricative K, though some older Mizrahi speakers still separate these. 2 The glottal consonants are mostly elided in unstressed syllables, and sometimes also in stressed syllables as well, but are pronounced in careful or formal speech. In modern Hebrew, for, has been absorbed by, that was traditionally only for, though some speakers, particularly older Mizrahi speakers, still separate these. 3 commonly transcribed, R. This is usually pronounced as a uvular fricative or approximant, or velar fricative, and sometimes as a uvular, or alveolar trill, R, or alveolar flap, depending on the background of the speaker. 4 The phonemes, W, D, were introduced through borrowings. 5 The phoneme, T, Z was introduced through borrowings, but it can appear in native words as a sequence of, T, T and S as in Tesca, tu ka, for some young speakers, obstruents assimilate in voicing. Voiceless obstruents stops, affricates, p, t, t, s, t, k, and fricatives, f, s, x, become voiced, b, d, d, z, d, v, z, when they appear immediately before voiced obstruents, and vice versa. For example, le segre liso, greater than, lizo, to close, s, greater than, z, Zekwit z kai ut, greater than s kai ut, a right, z, greater than s. Hesabwin kai iaban, greater than kai iaban, a bill, greater than. Matapaset matpaset, greater than matpaset, a printer, d, greater than t. Abetaha avta, kaya, greater than afta, kaya, security, v, greater than f, n, is pronounced before velar consonants. Topic. Illustrative words Topic. Historical sound changes Standard Israeli Hebrew phonology, based on the Sephardic Hebrew pronunciation tradition, has a number of differences from Biblical Hebrew and Mishnaic Hebrew in the form of splits and mergers. BH per mega henry, T, and T, merged into SIH, T. BH per mega henry, K, and Q, merged into SIH, K. BH per mega henry, and generally merge into SIH, but the distinction is maintained in the speech of older Sephardim and is reintroduced in the speech of some other speakers. BH per mega henry, P, had two allophones, P, and F, which split into separate phonemes, P, and F, in SIH. BH per mega henry, B, had two allophones, B, and V. The V allophone merged with, with into SIH, V. A new phoneme, with was introduced in loanwords, see Hebrew V A V as consonant, so SIH has phonemic, B, V, with. BH per mega henry, K, had two allophones, K, and, X. The, K, allophone merged with, Q, into SIH, K, while the, X, allophone merged with, H, into SIH, X, though a distinction between, X, and, H, is maintained in the speech of older Sephardim. Topic. Spirantization. The consonant pairs, b, tilde, v, k, tilde, x, and p, tilde, f, were historically allophonic, as a consequence of a phenomenon of spirantization known as bagadkifat. In modern Hebrew, the six sounds are phonemic. Similar allophonic alternation of bh per mega henry, t, tilde, theta, d, tilde, and tilde, was lost, with the allophones merging into simple, t, d, though, has reappeared as an allophone of, r. These phonemic changes were partly due to the mergers noted above, to the loss of consonant gemination, which had distinguished stops from their fricative allophones in intervocalic position, and the introduction of syllable initial, f, and non-syllable initial, p, and, b, in loan words. Spirantization still occurs in verbal and nominal derivation, but now the alternations b tilde v, k tilde x, and p tilde f are phonemic rather than allophonic. Vowels Hebrew has five vowel phonemes 
Long vowels may occur where two identical vowels were historically separated by a pharyngeal or glottal consonant this separation is preserved in writing, and is still pronounced by some, and the first was stressed, where the second was stressed, the result is a sequence of two short vowels, they also often occur when morphology brings two identical vowels together, but they are not predictable in that environment, any of the five short vowels may be realized as a schwa, when far from lexical stress, there are two diphthongs, aj, and, ej. Vowel length In Biblical Hebrew, each vowel had three forms, short, long and interrupted chadif. However, there is no audible distinction between the three in modern Hebrew, except that, e, is often pronounced e -j as in Ashkenazi Hebrew. Vowel length in modern Hebrew is environmentally determined and not phonemic, it tends to be affected by the degree of stress, and pretonic lengthening may also occur, mostly in open syllables. When a glottal is lost, a two-vowel sequence arises, and they may be merged into a single long vowel. Tabad ta vod, you will work, greater than ta vod. Sawanim ionim, watches, greater than becomes o nim. Topic shva. Modern pronunciation does not follow traditional use of the nikad diacritic shva. In modern Hebrew, words written with a shva may be pronounced with either e or without any vowel or sometimes as an actual schwa, and this does not correspond well to how the word was pronounced historically. For example, the first shva in the word kuimitate u fem, crumpled is pronounced e kimate, though historically it was silent, whereas the shva in zeman time, which was pronounced historically, is usually silent zeman. Orthographic shva is generally pronounced e in prefixes such as ve and and be in or when following another shva in grammatical patterns as in tilmedi u f s g will learn an epithetic e appears when necessary to avoid violating a phonological constraint such as between two consonants that are identical or differ only in voicing e.g. lamadeti i learned not asterisk lamata or when an impermissible initial cluster would result e.g. asterisk rc or asterisk c where c stands for any consonant topic <laughs> aspiration Aspiration is used in the final H of feminine words to denote possession in third person, being designated by putting a dot mapic, graphically identical to the dagesh in the H. Normally, it is written with a comets in the letter before the H, for example in the word mitwaba, from its goodness. When the letter before is a guttural, rhh, the comets is moved under the H and turns into a padich. This feature is found in many dialects, but in spoken Hebrew it has all but disappeared, as this sound merges slowly with the sound. <laughs> Stress Stress is phonemic in modern Hebrew. There are two frequent patterns of lexical stress, on the last syllable and on the penultimate syllable Final stress has traditionally been more frequent, but in the colloquial language many words are shifting to penultimate stress. Contrary to the prescribed standard, some words exhibit stress on the antepenultimate syllable or even further back. This often occurs in loanwords, e.g. politica, politica, politics, and sometimes in native colloquial compounds, e.g. ekis hyao, e kai ehu, somehow. Colloquial stress has often shifted from the last syllable to the penultimate, e.g. quoba hat, normative, ko va, colloquial, kova, swabake dovecoat, normative, ova kai, colloquial, ova kai. This shift is common in the colloquial pronunciation of many personal names, for example David David, normative, David, colloquial, David. Historically, stress was predictable, depending on syllable weight that is, vowel length and whether a syllable ended with a consonant. Because spoken Israeli Hebrew has lost gemination a common source of syllable final consonants as well as the original distinction between long and short vowels, but the position of the stress often remained where it had been, stress has become phonemic, as the following table illustrates. Phonetically, the following word pairs differ only in the location of the stress, orthographically they differ also in the written representation of vowel length of the vowels assuming the vowels are even written. 
Topic: Morphophonology. When a vowel falls beyond two syllables from the main stress of a word or phrase, it may be reduced or elided in colloquial Hebrew. For example, zat wameret zat omit greater than stomit, that is to say, ek koreim leka e kai koemla kai greater than kai ko im kaya. What are you called? When l follows an unstressed vowel, it is elided sometimes with the surrounding vowels. Abba salakum abba ella kai m greater than abba kai m your father. Hu yitan leka hu jiten la kaya greater than ui ten kaya he will give you syllables rv drop before x except at the end of a prosodic unit. Adarake kalal bidi kai klal greater than bida kai klal usually but hu badarake u body kai he is on his way at the end of a prosodic unit. Sequences of dental stops reduce to a single consonant again except at the end of a prosodic unit. Ani lamadi ti pam ani lamata pam greater than nilmatipam I once studied but salamadi ti elamata that I studied equals equals notes. <laughs>